folks, we are getting closer and closer to the dreaded truth about Kate. And I think that many people are now finally waking up to the fact that she is gone and never coming back. Now, many of you have probably come across this old tweet, which just resurfaced. It dates back from in December, about two weeks before Kate was last seen. And it shows Kate at the Royal Variety Show, one of her last public appearances with William, speaking to illusionist Darren Brown. And it states, Unbelievable. At the Royal Variety, both were very lovely and terrific at the meet and greet. Incidentally, when she shook hands with me, she pressed a tiny piece of folded paper into my palm. I looked at it later. It had just one word written inside. Help. Now, many are claiming this was just a joke and that all of us ignorant Americans just don't get because we may not know who Dame Edna is. And Dame Edna was actually a character played by the comedian and satirist John Barry Humphreys, in which years ago, apparently Princess Diana slipped a note into Dame Edna's palm with the word help. So on the one hand, you have one group claiming this is just a joke. And then on the other, you have another group jumping all over this guy, saying things like, why didn't you help? And like, what was he supposed to do? Let's say this wasn't a joke. What do people really think he could have done? How was he even supposed to know what was going to happen? That days later, Kate would go missing, never to be seen again. And by the way, maybe this tweet which he posted back on December 14, just one week before Kate was last seen, was his way of helping. Because what kind of power do you think this man had vis-a-vis the royal family? Seriously, what kind of power do you think he has? Do you think he could just go to Scotland Yard and say, hey, the Princess of Wales slipped me this note, and they're going to be all like, okay, yeah, let's go save her. Are people really this naive? The police is there to protect the monarchy, period, end of story. And he's not stupid. Maybe by using the Dame Edna reference, this was his way of obscuring her plea for help in a coded message. Because if there's anything I've learned in all this is that one must be able to decipher codes to read between the lines. And folks, I think there are coded messages everywhere. Now, I didn't know who this guy was before, but he is quite an accomplished author and mentalist, which is a new agey term for a magician. He's referred to as Britain's leading psychological illusionist. So it's entirely possible that upon meeting him at this event, Kate may have seen an opportunity for him to help her disappear. Now, since people have found this old tweet, he's been getting a lot of attention in the form of questions, but he has not addressed any of them. But of course, the royal apologists are just using this joke to show how ignorant and uncultured all us Americans are that this is just an old joke. But is it really? Now, he has not actually come out and stated that this is just a joke. In fact, ever since his tweet was discovered, it's been radio silence from him. So I don't know why so many people are so convinced that this is just some sophisticated joke when he himself has said nothing. So, of course, I had to find some pictures of Kate that night. It appears she was shaking a lot of people's hands. William was all over her like a bad rash. And folks, I've been poring over these pictures of her that night. And sure, she's smiling, but at other times, she does appear to be uneasy. 
Next, we have this story that keeps popping up about Kate's hospital, hospital records that were breached. And it is becoming more and more apparent to me that this is just another BS planted story, either to let people think that Kate was actually at the London Clinic when really she was never there, and to try to reinforce the cancer narrative in people's minds. Because all these hollow reports of Kate being very upset that her files were breached just don't ring true to me. In fact, any report that makes claims about Kate's emotions are immediately suspect to me. Because if you take the time to read the articles, you find out that it's some unnamed source and nothing from Kate herself. And folks, when I read this the other day, the thing that popped out to me right away was that the police hasn't even investigated anything. Um, what? Well, why not? Could it be because there's nothing to investigate? That this is just another made-up bait story to lead the public down a path of lies. Because this trio right here, they hold all the answers about Kate. Whatever happened to her, they are all equal and complicit. And I'm going to do a deep dive into my reasoning for this in a separate video because if I try to do it now, it's going to be way too long. So stay tuned for that. So at this point, I believe there is a silent majority that knows something is very wrong, but who just don't want to say anything about it. And that's fine. But what I will not tolerate are these people who are going around with their heads buried in the sand behaving as if everything is just fine and dandy, believing anything the palace says, no matter how conflicting or shifting the narrative is. For example, with this report, one minute it's saying that Kate's recovering and doing well, and she's even been seen shopping with her children. Sure, there are no photos, but who cares? Then the next minute, it's saying that Kate's unlikely to return because she's battling cancer and doesn't want to be susceptible to illnesses. So which is it? Either she's recovering and out and about, or she's too ill to fulfill any of her royal duties. And folks, I think they are deliberately trying to keep us in a state of confusion. And anyone who dares to ask even the most basic question or express even an ounce of skepticism is accused of bullying. And let me tell you something, folks. I wouldn't want to be in a foxhole with these people. They're always talking about how much they love Kate, comparing her with Princess Diana. But folks, can you imagine if everything happening now with Kate instead happened to Princess Diana? There would be a sea of flowers outside of Kensington Palace. There would be a huge public outcry demanding to know what's really happening. But with Kate, I just don't get it. People just don't really seem to care that much. And honestly, I feel really sad about that. I feel sad that her life did not really mean that much to people. I mean, they pretend to care, but they really don't. Because if they did, they would be demanding proof of life, real proof of life, an interview, a public appearance, not some highly produced pre-recorded video or some staged pap shot with a lookalike. They would be demanding to know that she is really okay that her children are okay. And folks, what about her children? They are innocents. Don't you care about them? Because more and more, it's looking like the royal family has dispensed of this girl. And God knows who else. Because it is obvious that the spares aren't worth much to this family. 
I made a video previously where I pointed out that the queen's inheritance is passed down only to the next in line and to the heir. That's it. Only they get the money. Now, the queen may gift a home to a family member or someone who worked closely with her. But as you can see, upon her death, the new monarch can just snatch that gift right back. Just snatch it right back. So it's not really a gift at all. Now, we know that Andrew was only getting allowance, an allowance of about £250,000 per year which he then lost when it was discovered that he was mixed up in the Epstein scandal. And by now, it's been reported all over the press that Charles wants him out of Royal Lodge. Andrew is apparently unable to keep up with the maintenance of the property because he is always broke and he has to beg his big brother for money. Because only Charles and William hold the purse strings. Charles inherited almost a billion dollars from his mom, including the duchy, I hope I'm saying that right, of Lancaster. And William inherited the duchy of Cornwall. So only they get to say how much this one should get or how much that one should get. But you know who made sure she and her children were set up for life? That's right, the wily concubine turned Queen Camilla. Charles made damn certain to provide handsomely for her and her children over his own. But then there is Andrew, the king's little brother, who is refusing to budge from Royal Lodge. And maybe he knows some secrets that he is hanging over their heads. And folks, I have a feeling this saga is about to get really messy. So I think people who are lucid believe one of two scenarios at this point. They think that either A, Kate is in hiding somewhere with her birth family and that she's very sick. Or B, she's just hiding until they can agree on some kind of divorce settlement. And folks, I'm sorry to tell you, but I just don't believe in any of these narratives. I know I've explored it as a possibility, but I have to admit that I don't believe that Kate is in hiding at all. And I think it was Molly who said in the comments that if Kate was really in hiding, she would have sent some kind of message out by now to the public. Because if there's one thing you know about Kate, it's that she really wanted to prove herself for this job. Imagine every day, every waking hour during her 13 years in that den of vipers, she had to contend with Camilla and I'm sure others who reminded her on the daily that she did not belong there because of her class. So that made her try to be extra, extra perfect because she had so much to prove. She wanted to please her mother. And of course, she wanted to please her husband. And no matter what they want to say about Kate, that she was weighty Katie and all this other, all these other taunts, Kate married for love. And that was her first mistake. Because this is a family that looks down on love. They see it as a weakness. And folks, I have increasingly become attached to the theory that what happened to Kate in December was no haphazard event, but rather a carefully thought out premeditated plan that was put in place much longer than we realize.